हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संजय उडगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जनरेशन ऑफ थ्री फेज एसी वोल्टेज लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अनालाइज concepts of three phase electrical circuits guideline introduction advantages of three phase system over single phase system generation of three phase voltages mathematical expressions delta system star system introduction basic concepts of three phase system which is also called as polyphase system three phase system is nothing but a three single phase voltages of equal magnitude but displaced by 120 degrees the supply voltages are generated by using a three single phase and the load it it is also a three phase type i they are connected either in delta or star it means that generation of three phase consists of three single phase uh, windings and uh, load to be uh, the power to be delivered to the load is also a three phase uh, type and the most important is they are connected either in delta or star advantages of three phase over single phase generation transmission and distribution is far more economical or cheaper as compared to the single phase system moreover a constant power instead of pulsating power in case of single phase system is delivered using a three phase system more advantages a three phase induction motor it is a self starting uh, possesses highest efficiency having a uniform torque and uh, provides a minimum vibration the most important feature of uh, this uh, uh, three phase system is uh, three phase induction motor as compared to the single phase induction motor a single phase induction motor requires a auxiliary winding for its uh, starting but in case of three phase induction motor Uh, it doesn't require a auxiliary winding because of the rotating magnetic field this rotating magnetic field is uh, induced due to the this uh, three uh, three phase supply this rotating magnetic field is established uh, due to the uh, presence of uh, these three phase voltages uh, vo voltages with different magnitude single phase system this uh, has been already been discussed in thing, uh, single phase system generate or generation of single phase voltage it requires a single turn coil which we discussed already this single turn coil is rotated in a magnetic field generation of electricity requires a conductor mo moment of the conductor then a magnetic field and collection of the induced emf so uh, this is the single phase system three phase system in three phase system the concept is very similar to the single phase system the only difference is in single phase we are using a A single coil, whereas in case of three-phase system, we are using three different coils. 
these three different coils uh, uh, are overlapped with each other and displaced electrically by 120 degrees. Here, the uh, you'll find this uh, three phase windings overlapped with each other with a displacement of 120 degrees electrically. Here, uh, 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 here you will find the slip rings. These slip rings are responsible for collection of the induced EMF, three phase induced EMFs. So, in short, the construction is similar uh, as that of the uh, single phase system. The only difference in this three phase system is uh, it consists of three different windings. Here you will find three phase system. In figure A, uh, you will find three conductors A1, A2, one conductor, conduct number 2, B1, B2, conductor number 3, C1, C2. Uh, look at this carefully. All these three are displaced by 120 degree. In figure B, uh, okay, in figure A, uh, these three coils are rotated in anticlockwise direction with an angular velocity omega radians per second. So here, uh, the magnetic field is stationary uh, and we are rotating the, uh, these three coils. In figure B, what you will find, you will find this stator having a stationary winding, again three uh, windings overlapped with each other displaced by 120 degree. Here you will find at the center, the rotating part is the uh, permanent magnet. And the generation of EMF is again based on the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction due to the cutting of the flux. This is the vector diagram. Here uh, you will find this uh, EM, uh, EM and EM. This is the length of the uh, vector represents the max maximum value of that particular phase. This is the EM voltage, max peak voltage produced due to A1, A2 conductor. This again the uh, maximum peak voltage EM produced due to uh, uh, B1 and B2 conductor. And this is the third one, EM, C1, C2. It's a conductor number three, uh, three phase waveforms. Now, an uh, important part of the study of this uh, concept of three phase systems. This is the phase one shown by uh, black color, phase two by red color, phase three by blue color. Here, the maximum voltage attained by every phase is uh, 1 volt, 1.0 volt. But make a note of this is phase 1 attains its maximum value at 90 degree, phase 2 attains its uh, maximum value at 120 degree and phase 3 attains its maximum value at 240 degree. So it means that their maximum value occurring uh, is displaced by 120 degree. In similar manner, phase 1 will have its uh, uh, zero crossing at omega t equals to zero. Uh, phase 2 red uh, will, uh, will have its zero crossing after 120 degree. Phase 3, its zero crossing in uh, positive direction um, uh, will have a phase angle equals to omega t equals to 240 uh, degree. Exercise assignment. What are the instantaneous values of three phase system? Again, coming back to the same diagram, the instantaneous value uh, is that value uh, at which uh, a particular phase attains uh, a particular magnitude. So, a look at this. Uh, let us consider uh, at instant omega t equals to 90 degree. Uh, at this stage, uh, phase 1 has attended its maximum value which is equals to 1.0 volt. At the same instant, uh, phase 2, uh, this is red 1, phase 2 has attended a uh, value equals to minus 0 0.5. Phase 3, uh, blue color, also attended a uh, 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 value equals to minus 0 0.5. If you add these three in, uh, voltages uh, at same at the same instant, this is one volt plus minus of 0.5 plus minus of 0.5 equals to zero. It means that at any instant, 
the summation of all these fa three phase voltages is equals to zero. So this is the very very important concept. These are the voltage equations. Uh, v R Y or V A A N is equal to V M sine omega t, where V M is equal to maximum phase voltage, which is shown over here. V A N or V R N. Second is the V uh, Y N. Okay, is equal to given by V M sine omega t minus two pi by three. That is uh, equals to V M sine omega t minus 120 degrees the next one uh, is the uh, this is the second phase vbn now the third phase vcn uh, or vbn is equal to vm sin omega uh, uh, t plus 2 pi by 3 or plus 120 degree or it can be written as uh, vm is equal to vm sin omega t minus 240 degree represented by three vectors so this vn vbn or v and vcn or vr vy vb with a phase difference of 120 degree again definitions line current phase current line voltage phase voltage line current line uh, first of all the phase current phase current is the current flowing through a particular phase whereas line current is the current flowing through uh, a particular line what is the phase voltage For phase voltage is the voltage across a particular phase whereas a line voltage it is the voltage between two lines it may be uh, it may be r y between lines r v r y is the line voltage between r and y phase v uh, y b is the voltage between two, two phase y, y and b and B, VBR is the line voltage between the phase R and B. So this is the difference between star and delta connection. In delta connection, you will find only uh, three wires, this y, R, Y, B. In case of star connection, uh, you will find it's a four wired system. Acknowledgement, textbook electrical technology by B. L. Theraja. Thank you.